Hey guys, what's going on? Trouble here. Today we're going to be playing some more Farming Summer 2017 on Oregon Springs map. And we need to fertilize or run or water our crops. We're going to run this. This We're going to start this pivot up. And we're going to turn the... I'm just going to want to jump on the other field. So we'll start moving it. It did get glitched. I did fix it a little bit. See, it's starting to move finally. But we're actually going to... Yeah, so that actually waters some of the wheat down there. And crop destruction is in, so see it's running a little. See, I had to run it back, so when I turned it, I fixed it so I, it would face this way. So there's a little bit of crop because I ran it over to the edge, but it's watering. I'm going to run up to the next one here. See, it's got tire marks. See, it goes out to the road. This next one, it should have went. Should be able to see oh, it's back here, I'm sure. Right there, yep, right there. So it runs out of the corn also. And then this one over here. This is the second to last tower. It runs out in the grass. And this one runs over the wheat out here, which is alright. We need to water the wheat. So yeah, it runs... Oh boy, there's a little lag there for some reason. So yeah, we kind of ran it a little too far. It ran all, all the way to here and hit the tree, so... So yeah, the wheat's almost ready also. Oh, hold on. i got to fold my end out. Get in the pivot there. Yeah, we might. Yeah, we don't need to run it back. I think the wheat's pretty much. Yeah, it's second stage. That's basically all it's gonna get, really. We might run it around, but this one doesn't need ran. Well, we can run it. Actually, it was already ran. I did finish this one up. You can see the little circle. This is the only pivot. Oh, we field five. So we got to run it around. So we'll start it up. At one, but we don't forget we're gonna run it up to the road. This one also has crop destruction on it. All right, we'll hit B and we'll start running it. This one's gonna go around a little quicker. I don't know why, but anyway, it's water and it's destroying the soybeans. Or no, it won't destroy the soybeans till the soybeans grow up a little bit more. This it, this just kind of bends them over and flattens them over and they grow back. So yeah, this one's moving pretty quick, actually. We might just wait on this one. I don't know, this one moves a little quicker. I don't, I don't know why it is, or why it does it, but... See, and then we can check them on the fertilized state, see? So this one will have to run around one more time just to get all these little... deals there that it misses, because this one misses them. This one I fixed... These I fixed so that they don't do that. Because I slowed them down, but for some reason they like to, uh... I think that other pivot stopped. Yeah, it stopped. So we'll run it around. Did find out you can do course play and it drive and then stop right away. Okay, so that one's around. We're gonna shut it off. Hit B, shut the engine off. We're gonna jump in this one. As you guys can see there's a little skitter type thing there. Yes, and it did shut off too. Let's see what the end looks like. It's watering still. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so we're going to jump in this. We're going to do this field work. We're going to make the pivot swing into 15 also so it lines up right here. It'll actually probably go to here only, but as long as we get that extra swing. So we're going to first cut down some of these trees. If I can get a perfect cut right here. So here we're going to cut this tree and the ones behind me. Hopefully the pivots are going to get there pretty quick, actually. So we're going to cut that one. Well, we got to cut this one. I think if we cut them out of the way, it won't bother the pivot too much. There's just three trees right in here. There we go. Cut that one. Cut this one. And then next year we might do rip up some of this farm ground. We'll probably combine these two in the springtime. And maybe buy some more fields. We'll see. Yeah, basically, yeah, so basically right now it's over the line. And this thing, you start it up, might have to quit that pivot for a little bit. We're going to go ahead and shut this pivot off real quick. Alright, so then we're going to back up in here. This is kind of one of the weaker skitters. Basically, you hit B, you turn it on. A lot of people know how the winch mod works. And I don't know my current.
cursor, but there it is. We'll winch that tree in. And then we gotta winch this tree. Come on, roll over. There it goes. That's going. It's rolling, it's rolling. I'm gonna winch this one up a little more. Try and drag it. I think I can still. Let's see. So those two are fairly together. We're gonna try and click that one. Drag it in. Grab this one here. This one now. I should be able to just drag them out of here. That ain't gonna happen, is it? Oh, we'll hit X and try and uh, pull them out. I'm guessing they're caught on something. A lot of the times they do get caught. Oh, I'm caught. I see. I drove up on a stump. I see. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. There's a lot, a lot of sense here. So let's try not to drive up on a stump. We're still going to pile the trees where they were. So we're going to winch them up close together so that they stay together. Now in real life you probably wouldn't drag these trees down there. However, I'm going to do it real quick. Try and just drag them out of the way. Maybe even drag them one at a time. Not sure. Let's, uh, these trees, if you speed up time, they will turn brown, which is kind of cool. Because they like, that's the sign of dying. These bigger trees, I don't know why, but they don't do that. I'm just going to try and delim them so I can see what's going on back here. I'm not going to fully delim them, I guess, but I'll just slightly delim them here. Get back in that. It's like almost quiet getting out, but... Alright, is there like a log place around here or not? I'm guessing it's up there at the train station. Let's see if we can sell wood anywhere. We will probably get a wood chipper to this... This, uh, winter. Probably just cut wood and then haul it and then ship it. If we can, I don't even see any wood chips. There's some wood chips. OS Sawmill. Alright, where's OS Sawmill? Oh, well, it's over that way. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some extra money. And drag it. Drag them down to OS Sawmill. And then... Uh, that'll work good. So... Probably... Yeah, this is... Okay, this isn't... This is paved road. Or not paved. This is non-paved. We're just gonna cut across the guy's field. Alright, so we're gonna drag them down there and try and sell them. See, that's... It's a ways away. Alright, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, so we made it down here. I'm going to go ahead and drop. I'm going to pull one in at a time. It's a little easier and a little faster, hopefully. Winch that one in closer. Should be able to just drive in here. I might actually have to get out and open it. Hey! What are we at? Woodhaven. Looks like that's the sell point over here. Yep, how much do we get for that? Let's go look at sold wood. Uh, not that one. Here we go. Sold wood right here. Nothing. So we get nothing for wood, huh? Darn. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll go see. We'll back out. Packs up pretty quick. 12 mile an hour is pretty quick. For this old IMT5131. Now this you want to have. And I don't know why, but that pivot's all jacked up too. Probably have to reset that when we buy it. I'm guessing when we buy it we'll have to reset it. Which might be coming pretty soon. We're going to be buying some more fields. This We'll see how much we make first. We might make nothing and have to deal with it but okay so we're at fifty four thousand two hundred and fifty four boy this one won't sell will it just leave it down here so yeah we didn't get any money for that one or wait see it says the three two one ooh I know what this is I don't think this map had one of them okay so we should be able to get wood chips if we tap time. Or maybe we gotta add fuel first. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have our own sawmill here. 
Yeah, I think you have to fuel the... Here, here we go. Yeah, so I need fuel. We got the logs, we need wood chips, board pallets, stuff like that. Oh, sweet. So is this not OS Sawmill? Oh, well that's weird. Why does it... I wonder where the cell point is. Hold on, I'm gonna fly up. There's a cell point for wood chips. Where's a cell point for wood? It's gonna lag so hard. Maybe you can only sell wood chips. I guess you can only sell wood chips and that's right there. So we're gonna try to hit B and drag this tree in here. It should like... You'd think it would accept it. Now let's cut a chunk of tree off here. Cut a little bit off here. That go in there. Let's see. We have three one six one five. Three one six one five. If we cut it up, it might go in. Yeah, it's going in. Yeah. Yep, and they're going in. So we have to delimit all. That's gonna suck. I wonder if you cut it, if it'll fall in. I'm gonna try and cut here. We'll probably have to cut it all up and then I'll have to uh, put it in, but we'll see. Okay, so we just gotta cut it, basically. So yeah, I'll go through and cut it all up then. Later. We'll just leave the skitter down here. It's better down here and we'll have to get some fuel to drive down here. And let's see, can we move this pivot around? Let's go ahead and start it up. believe we will be able to run it across the road I don't think that'll screw it up I guess if it does it does if not if, I guess it doesn't we'll have to get a stump grinder grind them out and then we can plow this whole area and I might actually move the pivot over to that square because eventually it's gonna run out of size here I think so yeah we'll move it we'll have to move it over but yeah this is cool look at this can see where it's uh, dying out. You can see everywhere I went with the pivot. It's pretty cool, actually. But anyway, we're gonna run this around. I don't know how far we'll get. I think we'll get pretty far, actually. I like the pivot tracks; they're pretty cool. Oh yeah, and then we could get like a pivot track filler. So like it, it just deletes the stubble where it's at, and then you can go through and fill them. That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna keep running it. Yeah, if I move it back a little bit, I can get a little further, can't I? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on the road. I know you're not supposed to, but I'm gonna try and get as max, as much as I can here. Yeah, if I move it back, I can get a little more. Probably about right there. I'm gonna say. Move it back the other way. I'm just gonna move it off the road for now. Just so that people don't run into it. There, we'll just put it right here. Good enough for me. So you can see where I ran it. I did run this pivot around. That's where I drove drug the trees. And that that's pretty cool can't tell on the wheat right well yeah you can right there Ch -ch -ch. and this field I believe it's all fertilized that field's all good okay so the farming size part of it is all good we're gonna go ahead and jump in the pickup we're gonna fill it because we're gonna be working this pickup pretty good so we'll go ahead and put put this in the shed here back it in, unhook it we'll go hook up the cattle trailer and we're gonna haul some sheep but before we do that I just remembered when we were doing this we gotta haul cows so we're gonna go ahead and jump down brought the old 86 down we're gonna try and level some of this out 
pack it. It's five percent. It shouldn't really take too long to pack. I'm gonna try and scoop some of this up. Put it up here where I need it. Put it up there and back up. We'll just keep packing it down. And when we get it all packed, we'll go ahead and tarp the bunker. So yeah, what's it at now? Six percent. If you spread it out, it'll pack quicker, but we'll see. Should get something heavier down here. Scoop that up. So we're just going to drive around the pile. Get it all packed in. Smoothed up and all that. And then we'll blanket the silo when we get it all packed. So, for right now, yeah, I'll do that a little later. Um, actually, yeah, I'll just do it right now. I'll just pack it real quick. Okay, so I just finished up filling the white up. And the wheat's ready over there. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for harvest. And then we will harvest later on. So we're going to we have to pull out these, just one of them. Oh, I actually might be able to get it. Get the car. Let's see if we can sneak it on here. I'm not going to put duels on because it doesn't really need duels for the cart. Well, maybe. We can stay our orange game cart. It's not like this one is a lot smaller. 400 bushel. If you have duels on it, it'll well, it might stick out fast. But I think it'll be alright. This one has a longer auger. Ours has a pretty short auger. So you can only run singles on it. So I might throw some duels on. We're not going to use it that much, so it's not really that big of a deal. But, um, yeah, we'll hook that on. We'll just park it right here. We gotta get the combine out and get the. Oh, the platform's already on it. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know what this deal is, what, what, how this got like that. But anyway, somehow I got flipped over. I'm guessing it must move. Must sit there and vibrate just a little bit. We're going to start this up. Now this kind of looks like an N. On the inside. I don't know what an F2 looks like on the inside, but it looks like an N. Uh, the floor pedals are different. Oop. I left my header. Floor pedals are different. But other than that, this panel's basically the same as an N7. Because I had to run an N7 this summer. Uh, it wasn't as bad as you would think. It had good AC, it had a reverser on it. I mean, it was it was pretty good combine. Because I uh, totaled our R62. Or I broke, I should say. Yeah, well, they actually totaled it now, but I broke it, and so. Yeah, it's going to be a pain to get out. I got to have to look at this to see how to get it out. It'd be nice just to back up a little. Let's swing it this way a little bit. I'm gonna back in this gap here. I gotta swing it back. Just ran over my air tool. So I'm gonna back it up, back it up in here. There we go. Now I can surely swing and get it out. Here we go. Pull it out. I don't need no fuel. We'll top it off. There we go. Swing it around also. Now this is a pretty small header. Uh, it's 13 foot. But it ain't terrible. 